Well, I know you're here, so it must not be the link. Hey, Adele. Hi. I was getting worried that somehow I didn't have the right link to people or something, but Darcy's here, no, so. The truth is that um, when I, uh, hi Darcy, when I clicked on uh, the link that was in my calendar invite, um, it wouldn't let me talk or it didn't have a visual either. All I could see was you. So I went back, I, I left the meeting and I went back to uh, the, the most recent reminder you sent and I clicked on that, that and that's why it worked. So anyway, I don't, I don't know whether that's why, what everybody else is, is doing. Okay. Well, I hope if people just go with the reminder that was sent, <laughs> that would work. Um, yeah, well, I don't know why. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Because okay. ostensibly it's the same, like I don't do anything when I set the page up and I put everybody in, I set the parameters up. So they shouldn't be different from the original message that went out versus the update because the update just gets automatically generated. I don't do anything. I just clicked reminders, like, you know, an hour, a day, um, a week, a day, and an hour before typically is when they're scheduled. So who knows? <laughs> Okay, well, I, I'm going to send Chris Mason and Andra the, the, the same reminder that, that I worked that worked for me. Um, I just heard from Andra that she's she must be trying to get in because she said yes, a couple minutes ago. Okay, well, um, I no just, one. Okay. No I one's re Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, no one sent me, I'm checking my email and no one is sending me a message that they can't get in. And I'm also checking my text messages and no one has reached out to me. Well, that's a good. Um, do I have your, um, I'm just looking to see if I have your number for text messages. I'll, um, I'll send it to you. Because I think I have, I think I, you've sent them to me before. Let me. Uh, um, let's see. I, ha I have a mobile number of seven two six sixteen ninety five. Correct. Okay. Yep. So that would be the right number for texts. Right. And Andra is here now. Good. Hi. Hey, um, Hi, yeah. Andra. Hi. But we need to be here need till ten thirty. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, did I know you, Chris was coming. Um, did you have trouble getting in? Um. No, I had. Oh, the, or I, there we go. I, I think this is Chris. trying to get into a different meeting. 
Okay, Chris is here. He just ended up going into the attendees uh, section. So, all right. Well, Chris is here, um, which means that we have our quorum because Tom can't make it. Tom is flying and Sam is unavailable to make it today. So I think, am I missing anyone? I think Sam, Tom, I think that was it. So I think we can probably get started. <laughs> Darcy, I think it's fantastic that you can do this while you're traveling. <laughs> All right, can so first- that? Can we see yeah. outside the train window? <laughs> Going by. <laughs> you can a little bit when she's right a little bit there right um, <laughs> so uh, i just wanted to announce that the meeting is being recorded um so uh and i'm getting i'm working on getting the um the web page established we actually have a, a page on the amherst town site now for this group um but i have to upload um the agendas and materials and resources and that's going to take me a little bit but I will work on getting that together. Um, I'm going to be gone next week Monday through Thursday so when I get back I'll it's one of the things I'll be um, trying to pull together. I've got another web committee that's just convened recently as well that I'm working on getting their information up to. So do we have an agenda for today's meeting? We do. Um, I was I did send it to you all but I will um, I can share it. Bear with me one moment and I will share my screen. Well, I couldn't find it. So, you know, I don't know what my problem is, but. <laughs> um, I sent it as, um, I sent materials. the, e yeah, I sent an email, a, um, a packet. Yeah, I got that. It says, it says packet items for the meeting. That's typically how I do it. Um, okay. Thank they you. won't necessarily always get posted before the meeting and on the website, but I always send them to the committee members ahead of time. So, um, but I'll, let me share the agenda just so you can see it. So you, hold on one moment. So I'll share my screen. So we have to review the minutes um, of the last two meetings. Um, Oh, can can't. we we can't. <laughs> For the same reason we couldn't before. For the same reason we couldn't last time. That's right, because Tom <laughs> isn't here. Okay, so That's we're going to have a lot of minutes to review at the next meeting. So hang on, Stephanie. Well, I guess, I mean, <clears throat> the reason we can't do it is because some of us weren't at previous meetings. Correct. Right, because there's there's quorum here. We have quorum. Okay, right. But you weren't at one of the meetings and Tom wasn't at another meeting, I think. Right. So we need you both here. So I, I, I still go by the, the idea that I can vote yes. I've, I've seen it done in public meetings. Someone who wasn't at a meeting votes to approve the minutes. I, I, ha I have two. I'm not, I, I don't think I was the one who said yeah. we absolutely can't. So, I mean, I... <clears throat> at the risk of some potential, I, I don't know who's gonna make this a big issue, no <laughs> quite problem. honestly. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just skip it till next one, yeah. Let's just skip it for the next one yeah. and then we'll decide, I'll look into it and find out for sure. Just, well, I was gonna just, say yes anyhow, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, and um, job. so yes, Darcy does a great job. So let's just put that off until the next meeting. Um, and Darcy has agreed to be our minute taker, even though she's traveling. <laughs> so thank you very much, Darcy. Greatly appreciated. Um, and to this next item of setting a regular meeting time, you know, Tom isn't here once again. So, uh, you know, typically he said Fridays would work for him. So I think we're just going to maybe continue with our Friday meeting times for now. I mean, at the last meeting or the last time he, we met, he said that this time is typically one that works for him. So our next meeting is already scheduled. I think that's partly why we did that was for July 8th. And that's where Paul Gromer said he would join us. So we'll just check in at that next meeting about this day and time. 
if Fridays at, at 10 are good. Is everyone of you okay with that, Chris? And then everybody else, I just wanna make sure people are, I mean, we've had this discussion many times. So and Fridays at 10 seem to work. So the next meeting is July 8th and Paul Gromer will be with us um, and maybe might even have some other member members of his team, I think, which would be great and very welcome. <clears throat> So kind of a kickoff meeting. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it's going to be. So um, that's which is incredibly exciting. I'm just making a note that I'm going to call it that. Okay. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. Do, um, do you need me to keep this up, Adele? Or no, no. It it's thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, I will stop sharing. <clears throat> There. I just quickly I lost connectivity for a minute. Did we did we review the minutes? We we didn't, Darcy, because we don't have Tom and we decided we'll just do them all at the next meeting and then we'll sort of I'm gonna look into I'm gonna talk with our um town clerk about just you know the, the procedure for minutes. If someone isn't present, can they still vote on minutes? Because I you know, Chris and I have both seen people do it, but then I've heard other people say we shouldn't do it. So I just want to get a final, like if I get an official answer, then I'll feel more comfortable if I check in with the town clerk's office. So, okay. so what they say goes. And we do record the meetings. So, I mean, you can look at the meetings as well. The meetings, just so you know, are on the Amherst YouTube site. So if you go to YouTube and you type in Amherst YouTube and VG, whatever our initials are, VGEWG. Uh, -E um, or type in, and if that doesn't come up, type in Valley Green Energy Working Group. I will say they're not always up as um, quickly as they could or should be, but um, if you really need a link, just let me know. And I'll, I'll get it to you if you feel like you need to look at the meeting. I mean, Paul Gromer's is one we may all want to sort of have access to. So. Um, Okay, so I'm going to go to item number four, which is basically just updates. Um, does anyone have updates? I have, you know, some minor ones, but any other updates by people? It hasn't been that long. It hasn't been, I know, it hasn't. it's been a week. It's only been a week, right? Right. It's crazy. Okay. It was quite a week, I have to say. <laughs> um, so my only update is that, you know, um, that Paul said yes to the meeting on July 8th, really exciting. He may have some um, other staff with him. Um, and yeah, looking forward to that. And I think this is the place where I will say first, I will um, humbly ask forgiveness for the, um, the uh, PR debacle, <laughs> the, the press release debacle. Mm -hmm. um, that it went out. Um, oh, so if I could just explain that morning, which was just insane. Chris had just called me that morning. It was 10 minutes before I was about to facilitate a two hour meeting of a brand new committee. And the town manager was part of that working group. And the town manager was calling me as I was talking to Chris. And I had already sent the press release to the town manager and the communications director. And when he said, okay, the communications director then sort of went with it because he said it looks good to me. So she sent it out. So it was great that she was so prompt, but I apologize. So that just moving on from that. Um, I think it really brought up a good point though, which was just, um, you know, moving forward now that we're going to be moving into this like intermunicipal thing, um, how, how we're going to work on press releases. And I would, I would say, and I'm going to suggest that we, when we wait until the meeting with Paul Gromer and bring this up as an item with him, because I think getting the messaging out about the CCA is going to be important and obviously, but I think how it's delivered is important too. And my guess is that they have very, um, probably, you know, methods and ways of how they communicate this because they do this so frequently with other communities. And I think um, you know, once they're on board, at least for the CCA piece, 
I think they're going to probably have very specific ways they want to communicate things out and that we work with them so that they work with all three of our communities and work maybe depending on when they're doing outreach in an individual community like for instance Northampton may have its own press release at one point because they're scheduling some kind of a public meeting that doesn't mean Amherst has to be part of that one or Pelham has to be part of that one so that we just work very closely with Paul Gromer so that's I just wanted to put that out there and see what people think I'm sorry I missed what the problem was with it with the press release I think there was some feeling that it sounded Amherst centric and didn't have quotes from the other communities. But I guess for me, I read through it again and I, you know, I looked through it again and I have to say, honestly, I mean, Amherst just was putting it out that as lead community, they signed a contract and that's basically what it said. Um, and it does, Paul Gromer even referenced working with all three communities and it does reference that the three communities have been working on this together for a while. So, you know, whatever, I, I don't, I don't really want to like, you know, split hairs over this thing. It, it happened and I'm sorry. But um, in the future, you know, I would also say that if people, if communities really want to make sure that their community is represented, you're, each community is more than welcome to send out their own press releases about stuff too. I don't, you oh. know, we don't have. Well, Towards to, to Stephanie, I mean, I, I mean, my, um, what I would like to have seen better was that the press release showed a, uh, it, you know, it, it basically represented a real group commitment, all three towns moving together, um, that we're all, you know, it's not one person, rep one town representing another town, because the other town might be kind of seen as just, oh, uh, yeah, let them do it, you know, and that's not the case here at all. So I think it really is important that when we communicate, it comes across as a team effort. This is all three towns working on things. Right. Right. Yeah. So and if anybody sends out a press release, I think it really should be approved by all three towns. I think we need to be ready to jump on it very fast so we don't slow things down. Right, right. Um, but I think right. all three towns should approve each press, every yeah. press release. And I agree. I, I agree. It, just like I said, it got away from me. I would have absolutely, I would have emailed Brianna as soon as we had got off the phone, but the timing... It was just like one of these things where it was the confluence of timing. So there was no malintent. <laughs> Amherst no. was not trying to take right. the thunder of anything, you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it does, it does very, it does reference very clearly. I think maybe it's just the quote from Paul maybe makes it sound that way, but it, it very clearly states a commitment by all three communities having worked together over three years. You know, it says over past several years, the three communities have worked together. And Paul says, I look forward to working with all three communities. It doesn't just say Amherst and, you know, you know, these two communities joining along. So anyway, I, I don't want to, I don't want to keep belaboring this point because it's, it's done. And we, don't want, and we don't want you to feel real bad about it. Yeah, I do. I, I am going to say I did lose some sleep. I'm not kidding. I really did lose mm. some sleep because I did feel bad. Um, but I, I think, you know, going forward, I just think it's so important for Paul Gromer to weigh in too, because I really feel like how we, you know, there's information that is going to need to go to a broad group of people. And to Darcy's point, I, I, and Darcy, it wasn't to slight you. I just really didn't want to include anything that was any kind of explanation about what CCA is in that particular press release, because I just feel like, again, that becomes a slope that I didn't want to go down. Um, so anyway, it'll all be fine working forward. I think we all have a great working relationship, so it'll be good. Anyway. Right. So uh, during my vacation uh, at one point, um, I came across a quote from something I was reading from Tom, from uh, Mark Twain. And uh, uh, I've had a lot of, you know, there are times when it, you can get an anxious and stuff. So anyhow, it, this is a great quote. I've had a lot of worries in my life, most of which never happened. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's, yep. Yes, I love it. That's yep. great. I think I should put Not that in. I'm going to print right. that up and put it in my cubicle somewhere. Right. Uh, yeah, it was just, yeah, it's been quite a week, like I said, um, but very exciting things like we have a new solar bylaw working group that's, we're going to do a townwide solar assessment and create a solar bylaw. So that's very, you know, it's an exciting step for us. And mm. so Wednesday was the first initial meeting and it was a big deal. Anyway, um, 
And that, that will sort of, I, I feel like there's some relevance too in what we're doing with CCA, because if we're gonna be citing solar, I think that's why the timing of this was so important for that group, because it'll sort of feed into working with Paul and citing solar in town. So um, so the, the question that I put out to everyone last time was if you had questions for Paul Gromer to send them to me and Darcy sent me a few. Um, and I can share them with everyone. And if people want to add to this list, it might be helpful to get it to Paul um, ahead of time or not. I don't know. I'm just, let me just put it up here. I'll share it with you all. So we can add to this if people want to. I will share it. Uh, Okay, you can see that. Uh, assuming people can see this, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Is the font size okay? For those of us who I know sometimes when I'm at home, I can't, I can't read what's That's shared. That's good. So. Okay, good. I know Adele, I was specifically making sure that you could see. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, um, so these are the questions Darcy sent. Uh, please describe steps to launch before, during, after DPU approval, including development of a business plan. Um, is there a way to advocate to move faster? Um, which if I think that's specifically referring to the DPU approval process, which we've heard horrendous things about recently, that it's taking forever which is a little disconcerting. I'm hoping that by the time we get ours through <laughs> through the pipeline that you know maybe things will have moved along by then. Um, please describe and give examples of outreach help you provide, including flyers, websites, et cetera. Do you want me to add press releases? <laughs> so they did give us example they in their um, in their proposal to us, they mm -hmm. gave a lot of examples of that. It's still not a bad question to ask, but they we yeah. do have a lot of examples already. I think, I mean, I think we have some, but, um, and even though we shared that information with people, I think um, having them talk it through a little bit is always a little different, and Darcy wasn't part of that okay. conversation, yeah. so I think yeah. even though we heard it, other people didn't, so I'm adding press releases to this, too. Um, are so not everybody to... saw that um, saw um, uh, their their proposal. No, the proposal went to everybody. Okay. I'm just saying that when we interviewed them, we still had them, even though they provided examples, we still talked about it a little bit with them during the interview. Okay. And and I think um, you know, for other members of this group's benefit it would be good for him even just to sort of touch on them, even if, you know, we can sort of reference people back to that. In fact, I can find the proposal and send it out to everyone again, if that will be helpful to the group. I'm happy to do that. Um, although we should have it, I think, in our materials, but if not, I'll, I'll just make it easy and send it to everybody. I'm just gonna make a note. Um, but still, question sometimes number, it, it helps question number to- four is, the Question number four is interesting. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, so, and I think we must have sent it to him. Uh, Question number six, so do we submit a, the, the joint powers agreement with the CCA application? That's a good question for him. So I'm, I'm not sure if we do. I don't. I don't know that we, oh, I think, don't, don't we though? Because we will, ostensibly, we will be a JPE by then. Right. So, so don't the they have to have the JPA mm -hmm. as part of that, just as an attachment? Well, good question for Paul. I think we decided earlier that we did, but excellent question for Paul. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't see why. I mean, it's like, the city doesn't have to provide its founding documents when it applies for a CCA. I'm just going to rephrase this a little bit. Uh, I think it does have to, yeah. 
Really? It has to provide its founding documents when it applies? Yeah. I remember seeing those in, in the applications that we reviewed. Okay, great. All right. There. I just edited a little bit. Sure. Um, so are there any other questions that people want to add to this list? Because I, I think I am, I'm going to send this to Paul ahead of time. I think it would be helpful yeah. for him. And I think these are, you know, these are certainly some of the questions on my mind. So I think it covers most. Oh, I, I know my question was, I did have a question that follows this one. So my question is about, um, can the, So yeah, I'm just wondering, and I think I had this question before, is like, if we have an adder, in the, even though the CCA is part of the JPE, it's one of the you know programs of the JPE, if we have an adder to support the CCA in administering that, can that person reside in the JPE? So that was kind of my question. Anything else? Good question. Folks, anything else folks can think of? We might want to ask something about, well, actually, we don't have anything about the community advisory committee. I don't know if that's in the CCA. I don't that's, think it is. That's for the JPE, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of a broader piece. That, that, that's up to us with the JPE. That's kind of outside the CCA, I would think. But doesn't it have some... I'd have to look back at our... I know. I'm trying to think. Well, because... JPE. Maybe maybe it is just under the JPE, and somehow the CCA issue is addressed with the GPA JPE as part of the JPE sort of business. Can and somebody refresh uh, our memories about where to find these documents? Because uh, I have to confess, I can't find them. Darcy has links in our minutes. Uh, There's a list. Uh, within her minutes that have links. Um, I am, so that's what, when I said earlier that I'm working on the website and getting the resources onto the webpage, mm. we, cause right now we have them in the Google drive. So right. all the links that Darcy has linked back to the Google drive. So I'm they're sorry. there. I don't know if this helps Adele. I know for me, when I open up like my Google, you know, my Gmail or uh, my calendar, through Gmail, you know, Google stuff. There's that little circle with all the docs in it that if you click on it, it gives you Gmail, Drive, Docs, Sheets, whatever. When I click on the Drive piece, then it brings up and I can look for anything that was shared with me, anything recent, any starred, and generally uh, it pops out. I tend to just open up the Drive, open up my Drive, and if it's been shared with me, I can find it. Thanks. You can try that. Okay. And all the all the minutes, including the minutes in this packet, have links at the bottom, which will probably be taken off when before we approve them because they're in Google Docs, but they're in there now in the drafts. And every other minutes 
that we've ever gotten has a list of the important documents at the top. Yeah, Thank you. I will. Yeah, thanks so much, Darcy. I yeah, and I guess that's what I was um, saying is that I need to get those links at least for these meetings that we're having. Once we became official, I have to take the minutes and take the links off. I can't have a link to Google Docs on the town's website. So I'll have to create. So basically what I'm going to do is save them as documents and then load them under resources. I'll have like a resources. I'll find a way to categorize them somehow. It's going to be a little bit of a work in progress. So at some point I may put on the agenda, you know, our website page <laughs> suggestions. All right, so I don't hear anything else about any additional questions for Paul. Is this the document that I sent you, Stephanie? It's Well, you had just sent me an email with a list of questions, so I just put it in a document oh. and I'm gonna send oh, it to okay. Paul. All right, so if you could send that to me to, to put in the notes, that would yep. be good. Will do. Okay, so do, um, Darcy, did you want to have a question about the Community Advisory Committee or not for this? Uh, do you want to so say, is there a role for them in the CCA I effort? Part, well, I think, you know, CCA, once, once it all gets going, CCA and JPE are really going to be very much combined, so. Um, if it's not if it's not dealt with in the CCA application, we probably don't need to ask him. But but eventually, we'll. Um, I mean, we just don't want we want to be prepared if we're the first entity in Massachusetts that has such a thing um, that the DPU uh, not resisted. You know. So I'm, I guess I'm just, uh, but if I guess if we could just completely avoid the issue, <laughs> that might be a way of dealing with it. But if they are getting the JPA at the same time uh, as the CCA application, and they see that that is part of this plan, there might be some questions about that. I so, see what you're saying. I guess, so I, guess I would just want to flag it and say, do you foresee any problems? Yeah. Oops. That's sort of generally. Okay. Yeah, I, I okay. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to bring it up, but well, we should, though, because we also, I mean, I would rather bring it up early and ask than to get blindsided by the DPU with that. So better to have this discussion now with Paul. Um, anything else? I think we might have lost our, uh, Andra. I think she had to go. Okay, if everyone is okay with this, I'm gonna stop sharing unless they have any other questions. Looks good. Okay. Thank you guys. Oh, Darcy? Yeah. Thank you, Darcy, uh, primarily. <laughs> well, I only added a few, <laughs> so. Um, okay, great. So I'll send that to Paul and make sure that he gets it ahead of the meeting. Um, so 10 a.m., so we said Friday the 8th. I can't remember if we said 10 a.m. or not. So, um, but 10 a.m. works for folks here at least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said 10 a.m. Yeah, I'm pretty sure too. Um, yeah. 
Okay. That's how I have it on the calendar. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that Tom said he would absolutely make it for that meeting with, with Paul. So, all right, I'll send the document ahead of time with the questions and we should be good to go. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna look at our agenda here. Um, so let's see, we have public comment next, but we don't have any public. And then our next meeting agenda. Do we have other things that folks wanted to cover today? I mean, that was pretty much our agenda was because we weren't sure if Paul was going to be with us. So is there anything else folks want to discuss or? I'm all set. Okay, so here's the thing. We have scheduled our JPE group after this meeting. So we can end this meeting, formally end this meeting. And then you all have the links to our JPE group. And I think that's where um, there was some discussion about talking about the language for the Valley Green Alliance. I don't have, I mean, I, I didn't have it in me to sort of put together that agenda. So we can be a little more informal with that meeting, but are folks feeling the need to meet this, you know, right now with that effort, or do you want to just put it off? Do we have any document that is uh, updated comments from the lawyers? Not yet. I, um, Rick has been good about sending me updates when he uh, does outreach to Alan. So I don't know if maybe Chris, you want to um, check in with Alan about that maybe move him along a little uh, yeah. because I know that Rick is trying to get him to sort of finalize suggestions in language. So, and I know that was as recent as earlier this week. So um, I think that's, we're okay. just kind of waiting at this point. Okay. So I don't have anything else. Um, so I don't have any, I don't have the draft contract to the latest revised version. So well, we, I don't have anything. We have a, a long list of, of things we need to consider, like how are we going to raise money for this effort? And um, how are we going to create a website for this effort, et cetera? So yep. I, I don't know if we want to start talking about that today or not. We've been putting it off very successfully. Yeah, we have, and we could continue actually, to do so. Actually, I think we've been quite, quite busy. <laughs> um, I did. Um, no, I'm sorry. That's okay, Darcy. Go ahead. Uh, I did send the group a um, a list of the, you know, really cool websites. Uh, the J, the California JPEs. So. We might want to give homework of looking at those so that we could give feedback to Paul Bromer if he's the one that's going to make some fancy website for us. Um, I, I, could you clarify, are you talking about the CCAs or the, or the joint power entities? I'm talking about our, you know, ultimately our web page for the joint powers entity. But I'm okay, assuming. So why that, would Paul Gromer have any feedback on that? Well, I'm assuming he's going to be. I guess I was assuming that he was going to be involved eventually once we have approval. If we're creating a business plan, it's going to be for the whole shebang, right? I, I don't think he's going to want to be involved in anything other than the CCA, but I, you know, I could be wrong. I, I don't anticipate that he will, Darcy, either. I think he's going to very specifically be focused on the CCA piece. And right. then and any web presence, they, they will actually create a web presence for the CCA, but that won't be, that will be something that, at least the way I'm envisioning it, is that our JPE's website will sort of have a link to it 
um, and go to it, you know, I mean, it'll have a presence on our page, but basically it'll be a link to Paul Gromer's creation of what the CCA page information will have. So, well, cause it's just a program, of, go ahead. Yeah, all the more reason for us to be uh, trying to figure it out. And maybe we could just look at those websites um, before the next meeting and yep. get feedback. They're fun to look at. I mean, even looking at um, Cape Light Compact or you know, the, and the ones that you sent would be helpful. Yeah, I can resend that to people in case you lost it. Okay, so why don't we just do that as homework and I'll send that out um, as a separate email for the JPE effort. Um, do we wanna reschedule that meeting then? I mean, I don't, I, I don't necessarily feel the need to have that, that meeting right now. Do others feel a burning desire to start talking about that stuff now? I know Adele, you said we have a long list, but. It's okay with me to keep postponing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're postponing until we actually get a JP, uh, uh, JPA. And we become the JPE is then formed and then it has a board and the board can start doing work. And then, and then we're official. Of course. Don't we, don't we have to start the process of creating a board? Well, maybe that's something that really does need to wait because um, the chief executives have to be involved in that and they're not going to want to be involved in that until there's an official document. So anyway, exactly. never mind. Right. Yeah. So there, there's an excuse to push it off. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. It sort of, yeah, it works at a different <laughs> level than all of us, at least initially to get it started. So yeah. all um, right. I yeah, I think we're good to put it off until we actually okay, have it signed. Uh, Darcy, please do resend those links. I don't know why I'm so challenged in the in finding all these documents, but I am. Sure. I found sometimes too when I try to do searches on my phone for some reason I have a super hard time uh, um, finding things on my phone, like and documents I sometimes disappear, like especially my work the the setup for my work account on my phone is different than on my computer at work. So it's, yeah, it's confusing. <clears throat> yeah, anyway. phones are not good at organizing things. No. <laughs> Searching emails on phones is bizarrely, it's like, how did you miss that? You know, yeah. <laughs> I searched on Terminus right there at the beginning of the subject and they can't find it. Yeah, I don't know how I delete, <laughs> like sometimes things get deleted and it's like, you know, did you mean to delete this? And then the prompt is gone and it just happens very quickly. Right. So right. it's just like, no, I didn't and oh no. <laughs> so, all right, well, um, great. Then let's, I think we can adjourn this meeting because we have no more, we've gotten through our agenda. Um, our next meeting agenda is really gonna be focused on Paul Gromer. It's our, it's, know, we'll call it our kickoff meeting. Yeah, do you know how long that meeting is gonna be? It's an hour, but we okay. could, do we, I mean, we could make it longer if we want, you know. I'm just wondering how much time we need for that, you know, for a kickoff meeting. Um, hours probably fine. Yeah, I think, you know, you know, for Paul, I'm sure a lot of this is rote, but I mean, it is, he's working with three communities. I mean, a lot of times I think he's working with just an individual. So yeah, we're probably three overly prepared communities, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> compared to others. Very true. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be sending him a draft if we haven't already a draft CCA and, you know, I can forward that to him too. Um, and, you know, just as an FYI, and I, I can't remember if we did before or not, uh, if he's, I'm trying to remember if he said he would use ours or if he said he would want to create his own. I feel like I might be uh, confusing that with when we were working on the JPA with Aaron O'Rourke. Yeah. Can't hurt to send it to him. Yeah, we'll send questions. it to Okay, uh, send. Okay, one reason I asked for the length was just whether or not we want to, I mean, to Adele's point, sure, we could put off the talking about the, um, the JBA or the JBE, um, but we also could start working on stuff. If someone wants to put together an agenda, you know, next on, on the 8th, we could take a look 
you know, and start working on that a little bit. So that'll just be a separate meeting, though. From it would be a separate meeting. Paul. We'd right. just close this one yeah. out, and we'd but have to the, have. But if the meeting with Paul was going to be two hours, then I would just skip um, a JPA meeting. Yeah. Well, I think the meeting. I, I think there's going to be a lot. Of, honestly, my personal opinion is that that meeting with Paul is probably going to have a lot of information, and I think I would almost not want to have the other meeting immediately after, just because I would rather give the meeting with Paul more time. Okay. Yeah, me too. Yeah, um, yeah I'd rather so, have it have, allow it to have as much time as it needs. So, do we want to do we want to say it's two hours, and it may be less, but let's at least give it two hours so that we have time. Sure. Okay. What about um, in the meantime, if we get feedback from the lawyers about the JPA? Yeah. Um, I'll just schedule the meeting, another meeting. Okay. It doesn't have to be that same day. Like, I don't think these two meetings, because when we've done this in the past, the CCA meetings and the JPA meetings were separate. They were separate weeks, okay. separate days. Fine. So um, it might it, it'll be less confusing, I think, if we keep it that way. Yeah. So I'll just reach out. Go ahead, Darcy. I would just ask um, that we really give the lawyers the impression that there's urgency because we've sort of seen how much we've had to go back and forth between the municipalities to finally get you know the contract signed and so on and you know i foresee that there's probably going to be a lot of going back and forth with the jpa because it's much more involved actually you know? i don't think there is darcy because it was just we were actually really at the point where we were finalizing just a few pieces and um and Northampton's legal counsel and the Amherst Pelham legal counsel have been working together on it. So I think we're, it, it was really close actually. That's why I'm kind of unsure why it's, you know, I think Alan probably just has a really full plate and this is just one of those things that kind of maybe dropped down because it wasn't a lot to do. It was very little left to do. Well, regardless, we, if, they, if the lawyers think that we have a lot of urgency, maybe they'll work on it faster. So. Well, yeah, I mean, I certainly said to, um, I think I, I, I think I initially sent an email to both of them and I told them that we had had the signed MOU and that we were signing the contract with Paul Cromer and that we needed this JPA in place in order to move the CCA along. So I, you know, I, I think Rick got it because he's been pretty responsive. Um, I think it's just, um, he's just trying to sort of uh, wrap things up with Alan. So, but yeah, if Chris, if you just reach out to Alan, I think that would do more yeah. than Rick yeah, reaching out to him. Yeah. Okay, great. Then why don't we- um, See everybody on the 8th. See everybody on the 8th and we'll make it Unless... a two hour meeting and then we can, we can just, you know, figure out the next JPA meeting date from there. Yeah, unless unless we get the final drafts back, then we can. Well, yeah. we'll schedule. Yeah, if we get yeah. those back, then we'll schedule a meeting sooner than later. Right. Okay. That's All right. Great. Well, everybody have a wonderful Fourth of July holiday. Yeah. And enjoy. It's going to be a nice weekend. Stephanie, and don't um, don't forget to just uh, copy and paste that list and send it to me so I can put it in the notes. Yeah, I will. I've, I've saved the document, so I'll just forward it on to you. I've got it as a doc okay. now. I'll just forward it to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Everybody. Bye. Bye.